We are about to find out. 25 fascinating laps of the track. What a race and what a way to finish the opening day. Farah's in the mood, but so too are the Kenyans. And this six and a quarter miles in old fashioned money is off and running. And it really will be fascinating to see if Jeffrey Kamwaror does indeed decide to hit the front early and really take it on. Tanui's teammate just closing in behind him there. So the two up front at the moment. And you can see Moe's in about, to what is he, sixth or seventh place behind those athletes. The pace, I don't think, there it is, a 68 first lap. is not going to do any damage to anybody, really. No, it's pretty pedestrian at the moment, but it'll be interesting to see. That's around 28-20 uh, pace. It'll be interesting to see how quickly they do decide to wind it up, if indeed they are as good as their words. The first athletes to go for the water. Remember, we saw that in Osaka in 2007. And it's Kenya 1, Kenya 2, Kenya 3. And still, Amane Murga just tracking in on the inside. And Ali Kaya going well, the youngster from Turkey who produced... No, it's only, well, it's not even halfway through the race, though, so there's plenty of time yet if you're going to inject anything. That kilometre, 2.43, so the time there, 13.40, which will give you time of about to 27.40. 20, but they're going to pick it up, I think, on the second half of the race. Well, it's interesting, those last uh, kilometre splits after that slow first one, 240, 43, 42, 43. In other words, it's level pace. If there's going to be a big change, someone has to do a surge, but it's too early for that. Well, they're doing their best, the three Kenyans, they really are. They're trying their best to uh, take this thing out of the world champion, Olympic champion, but uh, they're not doing much at the moment. He's bobbing around there in fourth place. Galen Rupp just uh, clipping his heels, actually, in fifth. Well, it was another 65-second lap. They just haven't been able to maintain the sort of pace they need if they're really going to break this up, and they don't look as if they can. Interesting that uh, Karoki took it on because he suddenly realised, hey, this is getting slower and slower. I've got to help do something about it. It's got to be I... sub-63 if you're going to do any damage. It really has. I think they were starting to talk to each other then. N not a full-blown conversation, but a few words were exchanged there between Camaraw, and look how much the damage of the pace has done Amane Murga is a world cross-country silver medalist and he is walking round the track. Inside the last 400 metres, it's the men's 10,000 metres. A brilliant race. Jeffrey Kipsang Kamaror has really taken it to Mo Farah and he accidentally clipped his heels there. Farah will be angry here. Galen Rupp is just beginning to go backwards a little bit. Farah is running brilliantly here. His long loping stride. But look at Kamwaror. We didn't think he had a sprint towards the end of the race. But he's hanging on to Mo Farah, the Olympic champion, the world champion. This, perhaps, is going to be his hardest earned gold if he's able to win. And look at Tanui coming on the outside. Farah looks over his shoulder. He glances left, he glances right. He's anxious. Kamwaror is putting a great, great effort in here, but Mo Farah is going to defend his world title. A simply brilliant race from the Briton and from the Kenyan, but try as they might, Kamwaror just couldn't quite do enough to run the sting out of the legs of Mo Farah, who has now defended his title in style. Olympic 10,000 metre champion in 2012, world 10,000 metre champion in 2013 and in 2015 and I think that's the one he's at to earn the hardest. Jeffrey Kipsang Kamwaror turned that into a superb race. He thoroughly deserves his silver medal but Farah was not to be denied the gold again. At one stage here, it looked as though Tanui might be able to mount something on the outside, but once Farah turned into the straight, it was only him or Kamwaror, and there was, as you said, Steve, only ever going to be one winner there when you're dealing with a 10,000-metre runner who's run 3.28 twice for 1,500 metres. And another great golden moment in a growing list of global titles.
for the greatest British distance runner in history.